city know they yelling my name. I just pull up for her and she hop in the rain. 40 y'all, me know that night not the same. 4 G out of you can't keep up the game. For your shawty, why she tell me she loves it? I'm pushing P, she been pushing right back on my tummy. Yeah. I'm in the bag in the money. Uh, might just go grab up the money. Yeah, I turn that five to a ten. Yeah, I turn that ten to a hundred. Lit so rich, don't make no sense. Yeah. I'm gonna get it at bun. Yo, Tom Paris, back in action, man. And what I got here for you guys today, so I'm gonna be giving away this free uh, vocal tracking and mixing templates for working on vocals over a, a two track uh, beat. Patreon, I would have paid free, but you have to like, there's no like free tier, I don't think, with Patreon. I don't know, I'm new to this, I'm an old man. So it's gonna be on the lowest tier, I think it's like $2 a month. The lowest subscription tier, I'm gonna be just posting on there. Um, shoot, I mean, hey, maybe shoot me an email, I may even just give it to you for free. You know, I'm a nice guy, I'm a reasonable guy, so you never know. Shoot me an email, I'm just send it over to you if I'm feeling nice today. Now this is the template that I use just to get me in the ballpark. I don't want to have to set, spend too much time setting things up at the beginning of a session, uh, routing wise. Uh, there's not too many plugins on it, but I'll walk you guys through it and I'll give you a quick rundown of its functionality so you can understand uh, how to better use it in your own situation. But yeah, so let's hop into it. So I'll show you uh, here. Here is my template. You've seen something similar to this before if you checked out my other YouTube videos. So I've got two drawers here, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the left here is just the master buses. So I have my master submix bus with um, my master effects chain on it here. It's not, this is not a true uh, mastering job, just kind of like a rough master. I can run demos through to get them up to loudness standards so they sound good when you people are listening to them, you know, on their phones and whatnot, in their cars. Then I've got the beat bus, which I just have a, a constant uh, negative nine gain. And I have my patcher preset, which I also explained in my other video. You can check that out. But I'll get into explaining these plugins a little bit more towards the end of the video because this is the very end of the signal flow. And then I have the vocal bus with a couple master effects in that as well. So we're going to tuck that away from now because we're not going to be coming to that for a while. Our uh, master buses, so uh, vocal bus, background vocal bus, verbs, delay, distortion, chorus, flanger. And then I have the Shep's EQ trick going on here. I just have these here so that I can, if I want to mute all my reverb, boom, just like that. Turn it off, all my reverb muted. If I want to reverb my, if I want to mute my main vocals, my background vocals, you can just hear the backgrounds like this. You can mute the background, mute different effects. I just have a global control over the effects. Then I have all my individual sends, so four different reverbs here, five different delays, three distortions, two choruses, two flingers, and then a micro pitch shift um, doubler type of effect going on right here. That's a little special. Then I have um, just the regular channels. So once you're done and you've printed your vocals, you have like the entire file consolidated. You can put them through here. You can have your mains here, your backgrounds, and then some uh, effects, and then your stacks. Auto tunes going here, where the vocals come from when you're recording. And then you can see they go through here, which is where I do all my serial compression. And these are all effects. This, uh, this separator right here, all these effects on the right-hand side are what I like to print. So they use up, they're very CPU intensive and they happen for a couple instances in my project the same. So if I have five different vocals, I'll have five different channels with give or less the same effects. So I'll run them through here, print them here, and then drop them in channels over here. And this is just kind of like a system resources efficiency thing, uh, workflow way. It's the way I do things in FL. It's what, it's what I've found to work the best for me. And then over here on the right, we have another drawer. So I got to talk back from just my voice right now. It's not coming through. It's not routed, but it's being recorded. A click track. We're at the very top of my template. If you unmute all of this, you'll have your click track. And I have it with some reverb right now. But you can turn that off if you want it a little bit drier. And then I have uh, the input recording. So this right here, channel 52 on the right drawer, is where you're going to route your microphone to your input. And this is where all your vocals are going to be recorded through. So the effects I have on this channel, I have a red EQ. And if you don't have the same effects, it's all it's okay. You can just use a similar plugin or whatever your favorite is doing the same thing. It's all, as long as it's performing the same function, same functionality, it'll be cool. So I've got a little bit being scooped out here at 1.2K and 300, not much less than a decibel. And then I have another notch here at 3.4K. And then I've got that going into a compressor on the very lowest settings, threshold at negative 10 dB. This compressor is just so that nothing comes in, hits over that 10 dB mark. I usually try to aim, shoot for around that for my peak, 
um, value when I'm recording. So I usually try not to peek over negative 10. So I have that there just to keep things under control. I've got this into an instance of virtual mix rack. So I've got the um, C800, Sony C800. Uh, I think it's the, yeah, just the regular C800 here turned up to about 120. Going through a Neve 1073, SSL right here, EQ. Uh, 1176 and then a, a LA-2A. You can see all this is getting printed onto your vocals in real time as you're recording. So yeah, that just saves you some processing later. Some people don't like to record with effects on, they like to record dry. Me, personally, I think that it forces you to make some decisions with intentionality when you're recording it during the recording process. And it also frees up CPU system resources later down the, the line. You don't have to have every single microphone instance being hit with all these plugins. Times five, that's what, one, two, three, four, Five, six plugin, what really five plugins times five, that's 25 plugins right there that you're going to be saving yourself in the mix just by printing them on now. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd have chosen to work, but you can turn these off if you want to record dry and maybe tweak things out later if you're not as confident in your decision making skills yet with mixing. Uh, it's really up to you. I would just recommend you use your discretion. So once you're recording, what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to press control and uh, route this channel here to whatever auto tune you want to be using. You can only have one voice coming through an auto tune at a time. So I have this to the first one right now, because this is where I was recording my vocals. And here I just have a little bit more stuff going on. This is not the channel I use when I'm mixing. I just have a few plugins that I like that I know sound good for rap. Just load it up off the rip. They're low CPU utilization, something I can have here so everything sounds okay. But this is not what you're going to want to be finishing your song with. Yeah, uh, sorry, that took kind of a long time, but I just had to kind of explain how that works real quick because that's important for using this template. So now I'm going to walk you guys through a very quickly kind of the process that I would go through if I was mixing these vocals in. I'll give you the essential workflow that I use with this template and how I choose to use it. So we've got my vocal here. All right, so it's coming through the auto tune. Pretty straightforward, just got it maxed out. I'll let you hear it without auto tune real quick, so you can hear just the input effects. Um, virtual mix rack. Boom. She been pushing right back on my tummy. Yeah. I'm in the bed in the money. So once I have my vocals in here and recorded, what I'll do from here, I'll go through and start putting on my serial compression. Now I pretty much know what I want this to sound like, what I want to do. You might need to experiment around a little bit, try some different things out. I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through channel, and I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. All right, so I just went ahead and put some effects on the vocals so I can go ahead and print them and move them over to the main channels. I'll let you hear what I've done. It's really not too much. I don't want to give away too much sauce. <laughs> but all right. In my city, know they yelling my name. I just pull up for it and she hopping the rain. 40 y'all, me know that not, not the same. 40 y'all, you can't keep up the game. For your shawty, why she tell me she loves it? I'm pushing P, she been pushing right back. But um, once you get your vocal, you know, sitting nice with all its compression and whatever other serial effects you may choose to put on it, then we're going to print to the track. So how I print, I like to just boom, boom, click control on the tracks I want to print, just play it through one time. You got arm recording at the top too. <laughs> Don't forget that. Ice in the vein, ice insane. In my city, know they yelling my name. I just pull up for it and she hop in the rain. For the yard, me know that night not the same. For Giada, you can't keep up the game. For your shawty, why she tell me she loves me? I'm pushing P and she been pushing right back on my tummy. Yeah. I'm in the bed in the money. Uh, might just go grab up the money. Yeah. I turn that five to a ten. Yeah. I turn that ten to a hundred. Boom. So I'm gonna mute the original layers. Mute. So uh, then I'm going to route these tracks to those mains I was showing you about over here. So we've got four. Vox 2. I'm going to put in Vox 2 for now just because why not. And then the background will have that going to background 3 just because they're both yellow. Ice in the vein. Ice in the you can already hear some of those effects that I have, <laughs> that I have just default routed on the synths coming through. You can hear them. Now that we have our vocals here, what I'll do is I'll mix in my sound effects. Ice in 
my city, know they yelling my name. I just pull up for and she hop in the rain. Boy. Maybe a little bit of delay. I'm gonna go ahead and side chain this delay. To or, ooh, I have to do it to Vox too. Ice in the vein. Ice insane. Ice in the vein. Ice insane. Ice in the vein. Ice insane. My city know they yelling my name. I just pull up for and she hop in the rain. 40 y'all, me know that not the same. 4 y'all, you can't keep up the gang. For your shawty, why she tell me she left? Then you might gonna want to go ahead and uh, tailor in your bus effects right here. You can choose any selection, any combination, any permutation of these effects that we have right here. And now the same thing for the background. I hop in the rain. 40 y'all, me know that not the same. 4 y'all, you can't keep up the gang. For your shawty, why she tell me she left? Oh, and now that we have these effects printed, we can turn these off, which will increase or decrease the load. Boom, boom, turn that off. You can't keep up the gang. For your shawty, why she tell me she loves Push it, pee, she been pushing right back on my in the rain, 40 y'all, me know that not, not the same. 40 y'all, you can't keep up the gang. For your shawty, why she hop in the rain? Not the same. For love. For love. Yeah. Out in the rain. Not the same. decent uh balance you know leveled in there um i'll go ahead and move on to i'll turn on the chef's eq and dial that in Hop in the rain 40 y'all me know that not, not the same didn't have to do much work it's pretty in there pretty good with the preset i have now i'll just turn on my master effects and then we got out of this template using it pretty quickly so check it out Hop in the rain ice insane in my city know that Something else I may find myself doing while working on this. So this part right here. Ice in the vein. Ice insane. I kind of want that to sit in a totally different space than the rest of the main vocals. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that its own file and route it to its own separate channel, which is nice. The f one of the nice uh, things about the flexibility of this template. So I'm going to run this to, I don't know, background two. Okay. <laughs>
city, know they yelling my name. I just put ice in vain. Ice is same. Ice in vain. Ice is same. In my city, know they. City, know they yelling my name. I just pull up for you. Ice in vain, ice insane. In my city, ice in vain, ice insane. In my city, know they yelling my name. So boom, I got a little distortion and reverb effect going on with that. Pretty simple, just added in a little bit of distortion on the bus, a little bit of one half delay with no feedback, and then a uh, Percasti M7 emulation, Seventh Heaven plate. Boom. I've now got my vocals into a pretty good space for like a demo. Obviously, you're going to want to do way more work on this if you're mixing. There'd be way more stuff you need to work with. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So with the master effects on, you hear everything get louder. Or I'll give you a quick rock through. So on the vocal master here, I have MLS channel, just a little bit of a analog saturation. Dynamic EQ, not doing too much, just uh, gently shaping the overall vocal. It's really just glue effects I have on this master bus, just kind of gluing the vocals together. I have um, a compressor, which rarely ever gets touched, only when get, things get too loud. A stereo expander, really not doing very much, like very, very little. A little bit of delay and then very, very little depth, but not too much happening. And then another uh, kind of analog console emulation, saturation, harmonic, whatever. I don't really know how it works, but, you know, that, that category, that class of plugin, that sect. Um, so that's the vocal channel that I have on Patcher. This preset I use, it's by uh, under Yulian, the multi-brand compression side chain. This is what's happening under the hood. Don't really know what any of that does, but essentially what happens is as your vocal comes through, it cuts out, it cuts back on the uh, the beat. If your vocal comes in too loud, it'll cut the beat back. So they play. It's a little bit of dynamic side chaining going on. I have that on pretty much all the time. Anytime I'm mixing over a two, that's just just like a two track, you know, just the the beat. And then I have a dynamic EQ again on the master on the submix. Um, black box, analog design, you know, I got the HG2 doing a little bit of, uh, saturation. Dangerous, Pax EQ, Master EQ, and then I got the BX Digital 3 from Plugin Alliance into the Millennia, um, NSEQ 2. This is just a high shelf. And then into Ozone, which I'm only using, I don't know what this is doing, but I'm really only using the stereo imager. And then the limiter. So mostly I use the maximizer, but I just have a limiter in here right now. Just and uh, this template also, I have beat tracks set up here on the playlist, but there's nothing in the mixer for the beat. So if you do want to mix the beat, like I said, this is mixing over two tracks. But if you want to mix the elements of a beat, you can just add some more channels over here, add a separator, make another group. Like I said, if you don't have all the plugins I use, you can do the same things with other plugins. You just have to understand what's happening and how you can set your plugin up accordingly. Um, if you want any more videos going into further depth explaining the techniques I'm using here in this template or just uh, different mixing techniques in general, leave a comment or uh, shoot me an email. I am a mixing engineer as well as musician, so I like to produce sometimes just for fun. A uh, quick note, I just do want to uh, emphasize this for like all the newcomers into the mixing world. Templates are great, a great way to um, bypass the monotonous tasks you have to do of setting up, you know, buses, sends, uh, your, your chains and everything. But... Use templates with caution. I say this because if you are just getting into the habit of just loading in, boom, 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 if just loading in, just plugging into the template you have, um, you will start, if you're new, you'll start to um, just get in the habit of using that setting all the time, and you won't exactly be building uh, healthy habits uh, that are conducive to making yourself better as a mixing engineer. Um, you may not understand everything going on. So I do... Uh, say to use this like a bit with an air of caution don't get too into the habit of presetting everything as you're learning you still need to get in make the adjustments yourself in real time learn uh, through trial and error um, yeah but I don't want to rant so I'm just gonna leave you guys with that and uh, with that being said man thanks for watching the video that's pretty boy, she said a pussy tastes good like so food.